called out to a job today at Waverton for a Telstra customer. Uh, basically, he's had Telstra come out here just the once. Twice. Twice yeah. to come and take a look. Um, both times they've told him that the problem's an internal problem. They did fix something up outside. It worked a little bit for a while for him. But now he's getting dropouts and he's got like a noise on the line. So I've uh, traced the line down here to the MDF. Um, and he's got a nice clear tone and everything's testing fine going up to the unit. But um, as you can see, I've got the um, on the the leading cable here on pair number five. Let's just focus in on that. I've got that going down to my alligator clips, which is going to my butt phone, and we've got a audible hum on that plus also like a voltage hum and a crackle on that line. Now I've heard it. Um, we've tried to do a fast test on it. But fast isn't working. It keeps failing. Now I'm here with the uh, customer. I'm just going to put you over here because you heard the uh, crackle on the line too, directly on the Telstra side, didn't Absolutely you? Absolutely did. The yep. technician told, uh, gave me the handset and I heard it. Yep. So yep. there you go. So two corroborating people saying we've both heard it on the uh, Telstra network side. So Telstra, this is not a um, customer internal issue. This is 100% a network issue. You're going to need to send back a tech and get this fixed up because they didn't come down here to the MDF. They went up to the street um, and out the front of this customer's house, there's actually no Telstra pits. The Telstra pit for this house is around the corner in the opposite street. So um, yeah, he's gonna have to come to the MDF to prove it to here. All right, thanks, bye.